Hello, my beautiful friends. How's everybody doing today? Can you guys believe how close we are to the holidays? This month has just flown by, but I am almost done with my Christmas shopping, you guys, which is super impressive for me. All I have to do is some wrapping and stuff like that. How far are you guys along? Are you coming along okay? Yeah, it's it just really has creeped up on everybody. But yeah, you guys, I'm super excited about today's video. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a blue eye look. And the funny thing is, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, hmm, I want to do a blue eye look. I think that would be really pretty for the holidays. And then I saw all these comments and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But you guys, it just tells that we're on the same page. We have the same vibe. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm super nervous, excited. Um, a blue eye look is always intimidating, if you ask me. So actually, the uh, palette that I'm going to use here is called Pretty All Set by You Can Be. Uh, they sent this to me a while back, and you can also get it on Amazon. And it's like a portfolio. And as you can see, there's a lot of shades going on in here. Uh, there's also some blushes, a bronzers, highlighter. But I'm going to stay on this page over here if I can get it to work here, you guys. Um, but I'm going to stay on this side here because that's where the blues are. This just proves that you can find what you need in your collection. So I'm just going to swatch a few of these and see what they look like. Um, just get a feel of a few of these shades. Now, this is uh, the few that I swatched here. So... Uh, let's take a look. Hopefully I don't get it all over my shirt. So the first one here is like a navy, but it has like a purple behind it a little bit. Uh, it's super pretty, so that's an option. Um, I have this blue here. That's like a pretty sky blue, like a true blue. There's no other hues behind it. Uh, so that's definitely an option as well. Uh, this one is more, hmm... I don't know. As you can see, there's almost like a teal or a green in that. So this is where it gets a little complicated, I think. Um, and that's definitely a teal. So that one is definitely out. So maybe I'm thinking between these two here uh, to stay more in that family. Um, yeah, you guys, I don't know what I'm going to be doing here. Um, all I know is this is kind of staining on my hand. So I don't know how it's going to look on my eye. Oh, well, you guys, but I didn't have many other um, blue options, so this is what we're going to have to work with. And then I was thinking a blue and silver. And the other palette I brought down, this e.l.f. palette here, the Truffles one, because I love the silver in here. So let me swatch that and see if this is where I want to stay. Um, yeah, that is a pretty silver you guys, the staining of the blues. <laughs> I don't know about that. But actually, I have used other palettes that do stain my fingers, and it doesn't stain the eyes. So I think we'll be okay. But I am going to use a white base today. Um, I just want these, you know, shades to really pop on my eyes. And usually when you use uh, a white base, they really will pop. So uh, for a minute, I will look crazy, but this is the same brand that I always use, you guys, that I get on Amazon. Um, so this is just the white version of what I normally use. So I'm just going to blend this in, and hopefully this will give me the color payoff that I am looking for. Um, so I think I'm actually going to start with this lighter blue here. And I'm just going to tap my brush, you guys, just very little. And I just want to build up. I want to go in very light uh, because, again, blues are a little tricky, if you ask me. And I'm just going to start by putting that all across the lid here. Because I think I might do a halo eye. So again, how are you guys doing with your holiday shopping and uh, plans? Is everything going uh, like you planned or um, are you far behind? Yeah, again, you guys, I am super impressed that I am as far as I am. And also, you you know, I was planning on doing way more um, videos than I've been putting out. I just had so many plans. I had like a big list of things that I wanted to put out and it just never happened, which is a bummer. If I didn't have a, you know, full-time job, I think I would be able to uh, put out more videos. You know, I've been seeing a lot of, you know, the Vlogmas and then people just busting out videos left and right now. If they have jobs, you know, I am not worthy because <laughs> I know I definitely could not fit in um, any more than I am putting out. Uh, but like I said, I had so many plans and hopefully next year, you guys, I will be able to do... Uh, more videos but yeah unfortunately I just will not be able to, to get to all of them okay this is looking a little um interesting right now, right now you guys but 
hopefully it will all come together. So again, I have gone in very, very light handed and just basically built up on that shade. Now I am, um, because I have such a hood, everything just gets in my way. I am just going to take a very small round brush here. Um, I'm gonna make sure that that is clean and I'm gonna go back into that same color that I've been using, but just kind of deepen up this corner because this brush, I'm just having a hard time getting in this inner corner. So I just packed a little bit in there and now I am just going to buff that out. Now with a small fluffier brush, I think I am going to move into this little deeper blue here. And again, I'm gonna be very light handed. And I'm going to basically do what I just did. Only I'm gonna keep it more towards my eyelid and on the inner corner. And I'm using a very, very light hand. So I am doing quite a bit of blending, but I will say that they are blending very easily. Um, I'm not finding that they're patchy. Okay, you guys, I think that is looking pretty good. And now I'm actually going to take a much smaller brush and make sure that that is cleaned off as well. And I think I'm going to go into this navy a little bit. I just thought that was super pretty. Even though it had like a purple hue to it, I think it's just going to add a <laughs> it's just going to add a little something to this look. So I'm just going to keep that pretty much on the inner and outer corner. And I think I need a more fluffy brush than that. That just seemed uh, super dense. So I am going to switch up the brush a little bit and I keep picking the wrong brush you guys so I just tapped that brush in here and actually this is a new uh, brush that I got from my BoxyCharm and it's called I think they're LaRousse but they're pretty nice and they have like a really cool grip on it but yeah we'll see how these work okay so this inner corner is just a little tricky for me to get to here, holding this mirror. And with this tiny, tiny little brush, but I am going to get in there, you guys, if it's the last thing I do, because I do really want that to deepen up. Okay, I think this is looking uh, pretty good, you guys. Um, I actually want something else in here too, almost like a, a very light pink. So let me swatch this here because I can't tell if it is a glitter. And yeah, it's like one of those um, satin finishes. So I do not want that. So let me try this shade here. Yeah, that one is a more matte. So that is right beneath all of these blues. So I'm just going to put a very, very light dusting. I just want to add just a little bit, I think, you guys, right through here. I mean, very, very light. So I'm actually going to tap that off. And I'm also going to clean that brush so there's hardly anything on there. Because again, I just wanted just very light dusting of the pink. Okay, I hope that wasn't a mistake. Um, I'm actually going to go into this palette too, and it's called BH, and this is Lost in Las Los Angeles. Um, and the reason why is I think I want to go uh, with this white shade here. I really want to brighten up um, this area here, the brow bone. And I'm actually going to bring it down into that pink a little bit. Just to brighten that area up. Okay, so this is definitely one of those trust the process scenarios. Um, <laughs> so let's finish off this eye a little bit and see if this is where we're going to stay. Um, I'm actually going to use my NYX glitter glue because I really want the shimmer to really pop. So I'm just going to place probably about that much on my finger here and put that in the center. I don't want to go up too high, but I do want this to cover quite a, a bit of space because I do want quite a bit of silver in this uh, eye look because I think that will 
tone it down quite a bit. So wherever you put this glitter glue is where um, that shimmer is going to go. So let's grab a little bit of that shimmer. And actually, I put quite a bit on my finger. And we are just going to pack that on. And I'm being very careful where I place that. And as you can see how that glitter really, really made that pop. And then what I'm going to do is take that one shade that I had the really deep blue on. It was almost that purple shade. And I'm going to grab just a little bit more. Tap that off. And sweep that into that silver shade. I'm going to do that on both sides just so there's not that harsh edge. And then I can even grab a little bit of that and place it on my finger just so it's a little bit more muted. Okay, actually that looks kind of good, you guys. Um, I'm hoping, like I said, with the rest of the makeup and um, some eyeliner and stuff, that will really be nice. And I'm really kind of debating between that um, pink up there. So I don't know if that was such a great idea for me to add that. So what I think I'm gonna do, um, cause I, I don't know, I feel like it's throwing off the look, is I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the super fluffy brush, the same one that I used um, the pink with, and just really tone that down. And I'm going back in with the blue just to really tone that pink down. Okay, let's move into the other eye, you guys, and see if I can do the same thing. Oh boy, this is definitely a trust the process uh, look because I am so tempted to start all over, but I'm going to finish this off, you guys, and see what happens. And again, we're going into that second blue. It just is like a deeper shade of this light blue that I put on. It is super pretty. And again, you guys, these are blending out pretty good. I was a little nervous um, when I swatched them on my finger and see how pigmented they are and that they stain. Um, I was afraid they might be a little chalky and not want to move around but i find the lighter the hand that i'm using the better um i think if i went in really heavy handed it could become a little um patchy so definitely with like these drier formulas i find that using the lightest hand is best so what do you guys do at your holiday parties um do you buy for everybody? Do you guys draw names? Uh, do you have any fun traditions? Um, we really don't have any. Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to find my brush again. We really don't have um, any traditions, really. Um, but we used to buy for everybody, which, you know, our family is quite large. And as, you know, everybody starts having children, it just becomes even more big. It's just, yeah, it's just too much to buy for everybody. So we do draw names now. Um, well, actually, with my family, we every you know the girl brings a girl girl gift, and the boy brings a bo um, boy gift. So, and then we kind of do a game, um, you know, where you can steal some of the gifts and stuff like that. So it actually is very fun. Okay, you guys. Again, uh, yeah, I wish I would have never added that pink uh, into this look. So I'm almost tempted to take like a makeup wipe. Um, you guys might like it, but I just feel like it's almost too loud. And I think I'm just going to wipe off that pink there. And what I'm going to have to do is just take a little bit of this white primer. See, you guys, this is things that happen. Um, you can mess up. Oh my gosh, was that the glitter glue? <laughs> I think it was the glitter glue, you guys. Oh, boys. This is good to show, you know, that when you have um, some mess ups, there is ho hopefully um, a chance of redemption. You guys, I was going to put it on my finger, but I'm a little nervous with all this uh, staining. So I actually have like one of those sponge. 
sponges. So I'm going to put a little bit of the white base on that sponge. And kind of just be very careful. Okay, you guys, I think I found a solution. Um, I kind of was playing off camera here because <laughs> it was just looking a little scary. Um, I'm actually taking this uh, natural shade here uh, just to neutralize uh, this blue slightly. So I just packed it on a very fluffy brush and I'm just going right above all that blue that I laid down just to act, you know, because the white really was um, stark white, you know, that base. So it was just, I don't know, just very blinding to me. So I just added a little bit more of a um, natural look to that. Okay, you guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, sweating it here. This is very uh, nerve-wracking. But, again, I'm really hoping this is a, a trust-the-moment process. I mean, from here, I think it looks really cool. I think it looks super pretty. All right, and I'm not going to do, of course, like a wing because I think that would just be way too dramatic. So I actually found this. Um, It's my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. So, um, yeah, it's retractable, and I don't even know uh about this formula you guys i don't remember even using it and i'm trying to get as close as possible to my lash line then i'm going to take a little uh, brush here and just really smudge this out because so i just want a little bit of pop of um color there or black just to darken the eye and then i am going to um kind of clean that off i actually <laughs> break it off i guess and I am going to do my waterline. Like I said, I do want to deepen up the look just at the lash line. So that, as you can see, the difference that that just made. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to do any falsies because my eyes are very squinty. And I think with this much going on, it just kind of makes them a little bit more closed off. So I'm going to use a very a volumizing mascara. And this one by Makeup Forever is amazing for that. Um, it's just called the Professional. And there's two different sides. Um, and one side is the Lifting Mascara. So it has just a very small a wand like that. And you will see how it does pretty, uh, lifts the lashes really well. So I try to go as close to the base as possible and just wiggle my way up. But right now I'm focusing as much as possible at the base because I think that's what really gives it the lift. Okay, as you can see how that did lift up my lashes and it does create length. So uh, even just the step one is pretty impressive. Now I'm going to go in with step two. And now this brush is like the old school brushes and it's much thicker as you can see. And you will see the difference that this gives. Uh, this is to volumize the lashes and it really does. Now this mascara creates a faulty effect if you ask me. So... I mean, look at just a few swipes of using that has, you know, the difference that it's made already. So if you find that you have trouble finding a mascara that creates volume and length, uh, definitely give this one a try. And if you don't want to spend this kind of money, uh, which I don't think it was a lot, I can't remember you guys, and, and I got it on sale. Um, but if you don't want to spend that kind of money, definitely invest in a primer because that makes a world of dif difference too. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go off and do my base makeup because I'm actually trying out a product for you guys that will be in the next video. Um, so I don't want to give it away, but let me just put that on really quick and I'll come back and we'll move on with the rest of these products. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. Um, I've already done a two-day wear test, and the next video will be the third-day wear test, but today's technically the third day, but I'm not going to do a wear test because it's too late in the day. But I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below of what you think, uh, how it looks. So pretty interested to see how that next video goes. Okay, I did get a new concealer. Um, actually, my daughter-in-law gave it to me. She got it in her BoxyCharm. It was too dark for her, so she gave it to me. And it's by LYS, you guys. And it's the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. Uh, and this is in the shade LP4. So I have been wearing this the past couple days too. Um, and I'll tell you my thoughts on that. Uh, but I am going to use a little bit of the Supercharge by Milani. Uh, this is, has like a tint of peach in it. So I love using this. Um, it does conceal 
the darkness in my inner corner here and it also does give like some um, hydration and which my under eyes desperately need so uh, that's why I love it it's very creamy it feels almost like a serum and you'll see how well it does cover the dark spots under my eyes so it really balances everything out yeah my under eyes look very dewy they look very hydrated when I use that I love that Milani supercharge and as you can see I mean it really I could probably go out without concealer uh, I feel but I'm going to use my concealer so um so you guys get an idea too and again I'm going to tell you my thoughts on this um I like how it looks in the beginning um, and I've used it with a different um, under eye brightener. So I'm going to see if this makes a difference. But by the end of the day, it almost looked creepy. Um, and you guys, my skin is super dry right now. So I am going to give it the benefit of the doubt. If you guys own this concealer and love it, I would love to hear your thoughts. And maybe I just need to add a little bit more hydration <laughs> to my life. Uh, I definitely need more water because... During these winter months, you guys know if you've been following me, uh, following me for a while, that my skin becomes extremely dry in the winter because we're you know constantly running our heat um, everywhere we go. They're running their heat, so we really have to up our game on our water intake in the winter. And I am bad with that, I will admit. So I am definitely going to be more cautious about that and see if that makes a difference. Okay, you guys, I'm super excited to try this out uh, today. I got this in my haul, uh, the Black Friday haul, and I haven't used it, you guys. Um, I've been waiting for, you know, to share it with you guys. And this is the Breezy uh, by Tarte. I guess this is a limited edition from what I understand, I think, you guys. But it has beautiful packaging, a huge mirror, a bronzer, and uh, two blushes here. So I'm super excited to try this. I've been waiting and waiting. Okay, and for the bronzer here, I think I'm just going to use my e.l.f. And this is the putty brush here. So I'm just going to place a little bit and maybe tap it on the back of my hand just to see. Um, it's a beautiful shade. Ooh, I love that. It looks very natural. It doesn't look too orange. And this is super creamy. So I'm just going to use a very light hand and place this all around my hairline here because I do have a short forehead, so I don't want to bring it down too far. Ooh, this is very natural. Um, it just really melts into my skin. So again, I'm just going to pick up a little bit more and place that along the jawline. And I'm going to place a little bit on the side of my nose. Okay, let's think of a blush here. Which shade do I want to use? Um, maybe I can use uh, both or mix them because I think both shades would look very nice with this. So let's just uh, start with this shade here just so we get a feel of what each looks like. So I'm just going to place a little bit there. Let me grab a little bit more. I'm just trying. <laughs> I don't want to go in too heavy handed. So, ooh, that is really pretty. Again, these are super creamy, but it does, you know, it's not super emollient. It almost dries down like a powder, so that is very nice. Ooh, that is very pretty. Now, I am going to take um, a paper towel here and just really wipe that off. And let's see what this shade looks like. So, this is more like a mauve. So, I'm going to bring that more forward. Ooh, now that one I would have thought would have been less pigmented, but it looks like it is a little bit more pigmented, or I just grabbed a little bit more. No, it's definitely more pigmented than that other one. So, but it's super pretty. Yeah, those are both very pretty shades. Uh, one is just more subtle. So I think even mixing the two is really nice here. So I'm gonna place a little bit on my forehead just here, just to even things out. And I'm just going to drag it across my nose. I've been doing that lately just to get like a rosy cheek effect. Then I am going to take my sponge and really press this into the skin just so it looks super even. 
So yes, uh, so far so good. I am really loving this palette. I'll let you know the longevity of it in the description box below. But so far so good on this here. Okay, so I am going to go in with a little bit of powder. And I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And I'm just going to place this in the T-zone. I've been really loving this powder. I think it's super finely milled. Um, it does blur out my pores. And it really does help my makeup stay on, especially through the T-zone. Um, it doesn't look super cakey or powdery, and I think in pictures it looks really nice. So I've been using this a lot, you guys, and I got this at five below, so super impressive um, with that powder. And then i also been going over that with the Makeup Forever, and this is the um, Ultra HD. If you didn't see my Ultra, not Ultra <laughs> haul, the Black Friday haul, I got this at uh, Sephora. So, or did I get that on their website? I can't remember, but it was a good deal. I think it was their website. So the only thing is, you guys, um, it's supposed to be like this, I don't know, magic blurring powder that I saw over, saw over on TikTok. I'm not getting that same effect, and maybe that's why my under eyes have been looking a little creepy by the end of the day. So I am just going to place a very, very light layer under there. And, but I do see a nice blurring effect um, through the T-zone. So I don't know, maybe just not under the eyes um, for me with this product. So let me take a look. Yeah, it's very blurring, um, especially when I mix the two together. So, yeah, we'll see about the eyes, you guys. I don't know. Lately, they've just been looking really, really dry. Okay, let's go back into this palette. Um, I don't want to go too crazy, but we definitely need to add um, some blue on the under eye. On the inner and outer corner, I'm going to use that really deep navy. And just bring that probably right to the brown of my eye. Then I'm gonna take a more fluffy brush and go into this very first shade here, that really light blue, and go right below that and really just blend that in. Okay, that looks really pretty. As you can see, that little hint of purple. So I really like that. Now I'm gonna go back into the Truffles palette here, and I'm gonna take a super flat brush here and place that silver shade right at the tip. And I'm gonna place that right in the middle, just like I did on the upper part of the eye. Okay, I do want a little bit more pop of that silver. So I'm actually gonna place a little bit more at the tip here and spray it with some setting spray. And hopefully that will make that pop on this lower lash line, just a little bit more. And I'm basically just going to stamp that in there. As you can see, that just makes it pop just a little bit more. So I'm going to do that on the other side, and I'll come back and we'll finish up this makeup. Okay, guys, I think this is coming together. Um, I am going to place a little bit of this uh, highlighter that's in this palette. And I think I'm going to place that on the inner corner. And just to lighten this area up. Ooh, that looks really pretty. And you really could... Make this more bold, again, by uh, wetting your brush with a setting spray. So I think I just want it just like that, though. I don't want it uh, too bright. Okay, to set my face, I'm actually going to try my Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to see if this makes any difference with this foundation I've been testing out. So as you can see, that is such a beautiful setting spray. I have a nice, beautiful glow. It really melted those powders into my skin, and it locks in my makeup all day. Okay, you guys, all we have is lips to do, and these are the products I chose here. So I'm going to line my lips here with the CoverGirl, and this is the Simply Ageless Lip Flip Liner, and this is in the shade Endless Nude. So it has an interesting applicator, though. Um, as you can see, it's not your typical pointy uh, pencil here. It's almost like a flat uh, edge there, but it actually is nice, and I'll show you why. <laughs> so it is retractable, and what I love about this is because it is lined like that, it just glides right over the lip. And what's nice is that you can really just fill in the lip and wear it, you know, as your lipstick with like a little bit of gloss over it. So I actually like the shape of that pencil. 
And for my lipstick, I did use um, or pick the Maybelline, and this is the Vinyl Ink, and this is in the shade Koi. This is such an amazing formula. This stuff will last all day. Um, it is more matte, but it's not uncomfortable. So let's put this on, and hopefully it does match this lip liner. Yeah, it really, yeah, it matches perfectly with that lip liner. So, again, you guys, I hope this isn't too loud with this look because uh, that is a very loud um, eye look. I probably should have maybe gone more nude, but we'll see, you guys. I still have one more product, and maybe that will calm that down. So it goes on like super creamy, and it has a shine, but as you can see, as it, you know, is drying down, it's becoming more matte. And to go over that, I'm going to use my Milani here. And this is new. It's their Diamond Shimmer uh, in the shade Silver. So as you can see, there is like a little bit of glitter in there. So I think that would look really pretty with the look I have going on. So let's take a look. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I told you this could take on a whole different shade here. So yeah, that really just toned that lip down, but as you can see, there's such little glitter in there, but it really does take on a different look. I've been loving this. It's not sticky at all, super comfortable and very beautiful. Okay, so this is today's final look. It's a little bit more bold than I was anticipating, but I actually really like it. I think with the right outfit, this would look amazing. It's definitely a trust the process scenario, for sure. Um, I think it's because we're not used to seeing me in these shades and such a bold eye look, but I really like it, you guys. I think it turned out really pretty. I love the silver with the blues and all the different shades of blues in here. Um, I love that there's like a hint of purple, but what do you guys think? Let me know and be honest, but um, I'm actually really enjoying it. It's very wintry, very holiday looking, I think. But if you did enjoy today's video, if you please help me out by hitting that like button, I would truly appreciate it. I can't wait to see you guys again. I love you so much. And until next time.